What's up, YouTube? It's Ethan here. And as you can see, I'm at Chilkat State Park here in or outside of Haines, Alaska. And today I'm going to be hiking the uh, Seduction Point Trail. However, I'm not going all the way to Seduction Point. I am, where am I? Right here. And I'm hiking from point A to point B. And that area is called Moose Meadows. It's right on the Chilkat Inlet. So I'm going to be hiking through this forest here. And Moose Meadows is supposedly very beautiful. Lots of wild flowers and a nice beach with views of glaciers and mountains and all kinds of cool stuff. And possibly, as its name would suggest, there might be a moose out there. So there's a chance I might get to see one of those. Hopefully, I won't see any of those. I'm not trying to see any of those today, but a moose would be pretty cool to see out here. From a distance, of course. So this trail actually goes all the way down here to Seduction Point at Point F. That's a 7 mile one way hike, so this would be this whole trail would be 14 miles round trip. And obviously I'm not going to be doing a 14 mile hike today. That's a little much for one day. And I do not have the time for that. So anyway, I'm going to get going on this trail. I'll be hiking through a beautiful coastal rainforest as you can see. And uh, like I said, eventually at about a mile and a half is where I will reach Moose Meadow and come out onto the beach at the Chilkat Inlet. So let's get going. And we're going to have a great time today here on the Alaska Peninsula outside of Haines. All right, well, I'm probably a little about a quarter mile in right now, not too far in, but the trail goes down here. Looks like I'm going to be doing some switchbacks, so this trail is the inverse of what I'm used to on most hiking trails. It goes down, going to the uh, beach, and then goes back up, going back up to the trailhead. And generally I'm used to going, doing the uphill sections first, and then the downhill sections after that. So, like I said, this is uh, Chilkat State Park. It's outside of uh, the town of Haines, Alaska, which is a beautiful coastal town on the uh, Alaskan Peninsula. It is uh, very small. It's a very small little town. And there are... It's it's a nice little quaint town. There there's a cruise terminal, and that's how I got here on a cruise ship. So there are a lot of people, a lot of tourists in the town today, all coming off of my cruise ship because my cruise has about two thousand other people on it besides me. So and it looks like this trail is doing a little bit. Of both going up and down at the moment so we got a little bit of both going on here right now but this is a nice little hike this is uh i'm definitely not used to walking through forests like this this is uh like i said more of your uh, coastal rainforest out here and here in uh, southern Alaska, there's quite a bit of that. Up in northern Alaska, it's more boreal forests. Lots of pine, things like that. And here, as you can see, it's very green. Lots of, lots of plants, moss. All kinds of stuff.
But this is a cool trail so far, so let's keep going. All right, so we get a little opening through the trees here. And down there, that's the Chilcat Inlet, some of the mountains off there. And if you look right there, that is Rainbow Glacier. So we'll be getting very good views of that glacier as well as I believe two others. And I can't remember the names of those other two, but I do remember that one. That is Rainbow Glacier. And the further we hike, and once we get out to Moose Meadow and where the beach is, we will get excellent views of those mountains on the other side of the inlet. All right, well, uh, hiking through a lot of ferns and other rainforest plants here. And getting some sunlight on the trail now, which uh, that's like the first time that that's happened since I started. This is a really heavily forested area. And I'm definitely not used to hiking in areas like this where the woods are this thick and this heavy. Generally, you know, I'm used to in, uh, you know, like Colorado where it's more open. Of course, Colorado does have a lot of forest, but it's mostly pines and aspens different kinds of spruce stuff like that uh, a lot of junipers further west so i mean if you look at the trees here some of these are really huge trees i mean like look at this one this is a very large tree i mean that's huge that's bigger than anything I would see in uh, Colorado for sure. So it's nice. A little change of scenery. And it's very muddy in certain parts of the trail, like right here. And so you can see other hikers' footprints. And occasionally, I've been seeing footprints of uh, various different kinds of wildlife, mostly moose. I've seen quite a few moose tracks on this trail, which makes sense because in an area where the forest is thick like this, moose actually enjoy walking on the hiking trails. It's like uh, their own little pathway. So they like to use it just like people like to use it. All right, we're crossing a little stream here. And I got these nice boardwalks to walk over that were actually just built today, believe it or not. These, uh, I just passed by the uh, two guys that are out here working on the trail and they just got done finishing all these boardwalks and I appreciate their work because it would not be fun to trudge through that and I was told this is a little over halfway to the beach so Probably got about a little over a half a mile left. Looks like I got here in the right time because <laughs> all of this, this board, these boardwalks, those stairs up there over these stream crossings and everything, this is all like brand new. All of this was just built in the last few days. So if I would have come here like a week or two earlier, I would have been stuck having to hike through a lot of mud and water and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, they're definitely doing a good job, I would say. And let me tell you, building trails 
is not easy work. All right, well, we're at the mile and a half point right now. Here's another little stream crossing. And we are now coming out to Moose Meadow. The beach is right out there. So I'm gonna try to get you guys some excellent shots of the beach and the mountains across the inlet and glaciers and everything that I can. But this is Moose Meadow here, which is very beautiful. And as you can see, we're getting an excellent shot of Rainbow Glacier. And I'm sure the closer we get, that view is just going to keep getting better and better. And also, as you can see, it's pretty cloudy today. So the views of a lot of the mountains are a little obstructed, but it's okay because it's, it's beautiful. The weather's pretty nice, actually. It's only about 60 degrees, despite it being cloudy. It's not raining at the moment. It's only about 60 degrees. And uh, it is very humid. I will say that. Now, if you look out there, there's an island out there that I can't remember the name of. But if you hold on one second, I will give you the name of it. Let's get out to the beach first, though. But this area that we're all this tall brush and uh, got a few little wildflowers out here. This area is all called Moose Meadow. Now that's a nice shot right there. Lots of these beautiful pink wildflowers out today. And then of course the beach is out there. We're almost there. Walking by some other of these uh, smaller pink wi or uh, white wildflowers here. Very nice. Some more of the pink ones are right off the trail over there and right on the trail over here. And here is the rocky shoreline. And there's a boat way out there. And if you look over in that direction, see where that RV is parked, there's actually a campground over there. Well, we are certainly in a beautiful area. Up there, of course, is Rainbow Glacier, which we're getting a great view of right now. But what I really want to show you, look at that. Now, if you get, I might be, I don't remember the name of that glacier, but that is incredible. Look at that. It's huge. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. As you can see, this is an extremely beautiful area out here. We're right here out on the Chilcat Inlet. Lots of the mountains are socked in a little bit. If you look in that direction, that's where I came from. Through the rainforest, which was a very nice, pleasant hike. And off in that direction is uh, called Twin Cove. The trail keeps going down there. Wow, look at that glacier over there. That is just incredible. That is so cool. All right, well, that island out there, that is called Kochu Island. And let me go ahead, because it doesn't look like I'm really going to get any better views from hiking further out there. And also, it looks pretty muddy. The tide is very low right now, but it looks pretty muddy, so I think I'm going to stay out of that area for now. But let me go a little bit further up here. There's actually someone camping up there, but I might be able to get further up and get you guys a better view of that spectacular glacier over there. So let me try that out. A little stream making its way down to the inlet. And I'm hiking this way to see if I can get some better views of that huge glacier over there. I 
All right, well, I'm hiking along the coast now. And this trail just keeps getting more and more beautiful. Now, if you look, now we're getting a really great view of that glacier over there. I don't really think that this trail is going to take us any closer because any closer would be in the water. So that's probably the best view we're going to get of that. But that is just amazing. I mean, that is so cool. Once again, I'm sorry. I don't know what that glacier is called. I only know the smaller one, which is called Rainbow Glacier. But either way, this is incredible. Looks like the trail's starting to go back up into the woods. So let me go ahead and take you down to the beach here. All right, YouTube. Well, the path to the water was a little bit more difficult than it originally looked, but it was well worth it. Um, a lot of this area is very covered in all these uh, and all these uh, seaweed and uh, everything else, lots of this mossy stuff up there, and it's all extremely slippery. And I would, uh, I would say that's because it's very, the tide is very low right now. And when the tide comes in, all of this area that you're seeing that's exposed right now is all covered in water. So, but it was well worth it coming down here. Glad I got here for low tide. This is a very beautiful place. Once again, this is Chilkat State Park here in Haines, Alaska. And I'll give you one last look at Rainbow Glacier. And of course, the beautiful glacier that shall remain nameless because I don't remember the name of it. And then if you look down there, the inlet keeps going. This is, of course, like I said, the Chilkat Inlet. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. I hope you enjoyed, I know I sure did. This is an incredible hike. Needless to say, it has my stamp of approval, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, once again, this is Chilkat State Park, and it is the hike to Seduction Point, um, but I only went as far as uh, a little bit past Moose Meadow. So once again, highly recommend it. It's beautiful. As you can see, there's everything from beaches to islands to coastal rainforest to mountains to glaciers so it's got everything so anyway have a good one guys i'm not done with my alaska journey yet so i'll be seeing you soon have a good one